How's it going guys? So I posted a video a while ago of how I set up my kayak. Um, I'll link that in the description. It's just a Old Town Predator 13. Um, and uh, I got a lot of questions asking about my anchor system and how I made it basically. Um, so this crate, I made all of this crate and I might actually make a separate video on this crate because I'm actually going to put something else on it pretty soon that I just ordered. Um, but right now I'm going to show you how I made my anchor um, system. So I'm going to take this crate out, pop it out real quick and then I'll show you what, what to do with it. Alright, so as you can see here, this is my anchor system. I got it rigged up so I can use the Yak Attack um, anchor trolley, the lever lock anchor trolley. That goes from the front to the back here. And I just run my anchor line through this carabiner here. Uh, just clip it right through that and drop the line down. Um, so, this is basically the easiest way that I've found to keep an anchor on a kayak. It's a retractable uh, anchor line and what this is right here it's just a retractable clothesline that you can get at your hardware store and I actually took a couple pictures here um, of the prices and I think this is the 40 footer they make a 20 foot and a 40 foot I think I got the bigger one um, just depends on how deep of water you're gonna be fishing in a lot and uh, be anchoring in so um, I've got my anchor here Alright, so I've got my anchor here, and uh, basically how this works is, I go, I drop my anchor overboard, let all the line out of here, and then I have a little cleat right here that I tie it off on, it's underneath here, and then I run this through my uh, carabiner that I just showed you over there, and then I can adjust it front to back depending on the wind and what direction I want to be fishing in, and then when I'm done, I unclip it, unhook it from here, and just let go, and the line retracts itself back up into this clothesline. So, I had a lot of questions about how I put paracord in here. Uh, it comes with like a plasticky type line, um, and it's probably not all that strong. It has some elasticity to it, and I think it would probably snap if you got a good snag with this. Um, but. Um, this they usually come in white. I spray painted this black. That's why it looks a little bit different put some stickers on it But basically this is all you have to do right here You just we'll say it this is brand new out of the box Anchors not hooked on it. I've got my white line coming out of here that I uh, That is spooled on this when you buy it. You just pull all of that out See right here? That's the line that comes on this when you buy it. And basically all you do is take a vice grip or something and clip and uh, clip it right here so the line doesn't go back up in into this uh, clothesline um, when you're working on this. So you want to clip that with some vice grips or have someone hold it or ho try to hold it. Um, it's easy if you have a pair of vice grips. You just clip it right there. All I did with this is I cut it and I tied my paracord right to it. So I've got about, I don't know, uh, eight inches or so of, of the stock line that comes on this just in case I need to retie to it again or something. And then the rest is just uh, paracord. I don't know how many feet I got. I assume it's probably, I don't know, close to 40 feet I would say, maybe a little bit less. but. Um, and then you uh, don't cut your paracord line yet, but once you've got that knot tied, you can let you can let go of the uh, vice grip that's here, and then let it start winding itself in. And then when it stops, when it stops and it gets pretty full, you want to pull out probably another couple feet, and then uh, and then cut it. And that's where you want to tie your anchor, just so it has enough uh, power to get back up and have a little bit of tension on it when you're running your anchor. Um, and that's it. It's really simple. Um, had a lot of questions about it. 
So I figured I'd just make a real quick video on how I made this little anchor system here. I just bolted it right on the side of my crate. And uh, I've had a couple questions about my crate also. I made the cover and things like that, but I'm gonna make another video on that soon because I'm gonna get a, uh, I've got a Kydex hog trough folder that I'm probably gonna put right here. Um, I'm gonna take these noodles off and uh, then I'll make another video about that. I'm gonna leave a link to this clothesline right here and in the, in the description. Uh, it'll take you to Amazon and it'll show you the one that I bought. And then uh, the paracord, just get the 550 paracord. I can link that in the description as well. And then uh, this is just an eight pound anchor, but you can use whatever you want. Um, so yeah, pretty simple. Uh, costs about, you know, 20 to $30. Maybe even less, depending on what size this you get and what, what the price is on your rope you're using, so. So one thing I will tell you about this anchor system though is I wouldn't be using it in current. Um, a lot of times if you're fishing in current or uh, in tidal waters and stuff, you'd want to use an anchor that you can uh, detach from easily. Um, because if you get snagged on a rock or something and uh, your anchor starts pulling you under or flipping your boat over, you need to detach from it really quick. And this has no way of really doing that unless you cut the line. But I only fish in ponds and uh, if I go in the river, I don't take my crate with me anyways. I'm just fly fishing or something like that. So that's just uh, one thing to think about. Uh, I wouldn't be using it in uh, any any type of swift current or anything like that. All right, guys, so that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I have a lot of stuff like this on my channel, um, little DIY things that I like to do. And uh, check out the links in the description and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.